Hello and welcome to your third Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.3.2. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. Um, so, I am finally going to start with the new furnace tutorials. So, yay! Um, it was actually a really stupid error I had. And thank you to JoaPet99 for pointing this out. Um, uh, there, there will be an annotation like right here in the middle with a link to his channel. Um, I'm not sure if he does videos, I didn't check that, sorry. But um, So thank you for pointing that out to me. I had had this, um, the, the declaration for the red furnace block to be block power block instead of block red furnace, which caused some problems. So anyway, I'm going to be doing these furnace tutorials a bit differently. I may have said this before, um, to where I'm going to make a lot more furnace tutorials, but they'll be more, um, more, I can't think of the word for it. They'll be more focused on a certain aspect of the furnace, so I'll be able to cover it in more detail, um, the whole process of making it. And it won't be like making a furnace part one, it'll be, this will be making a multi-textured block, and then next will be making a multi-textured block with metadata, etc., etc. Um, so, anyway, I've already gone in and declared the red furnace block like we normally do, um, but you'll notice there's a few differences. First off, you'll see that I have red furnace block dot block index in texture equals red furnace side. Um, and I declared basically all of the extra additional textures that we're going to need um, for the furnace right up here. So I have red furnace top equals mod loader at override, uh, red furnace front, red furnace side. And um, I do have a download link for these textures in the description. So if you, for whatever reason, want the textures for basically any use, go ahead and use them, just give me credit. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, it's really easy code, I just didn't realize that I had that error right there. Um, but it is public int get block texture from side int i and return block index in texture. There we go. Um, so really basic piece of code, get block texture from side. Um, int i is which side you're doing. So 0 and 1 are top and bottom. And then uh, 3 through 5, I guess. Um, 3, 4, 5. No, 3 through, yeah, 3, 4, 5. No. 2 through 5, sorry, um, are the different sides. Um, so anyway, the way you do this is, actually, I need else. Here, here, here. Okay. Um, if, so you add in an if statement, so if i equal equal, uh, we'll say 0, or, and you do that with two lines if you don't know Java, i equal equal 1. Actually, I, there we go. Um, then return, and then whatever, wh whichever texture you want. Um, so we're going to do mod underscore tutorial dot, um, dot red furnace top, because 1, 0 are the top. Okay, so now we're going to add in um, else if, so if it's not one or zero, um, and then we have i equal equal three. I don't know why it's three. Um, that's just how the furnace code is. Um, you could make it any side you want. You could have two sides be a certain texture, um, etc. But we're doing three for now. Um, and the 
making the furnace face you, that's a bit more complicated code, which I'll cover in the next video, but we're just going to do return mod tutorial dot red furnace front and then else return block index and texture which is the red furnace side um, and that's the code we need so if I run the game and make it fit in the recording area so if I go into our testing world and I give myself you know what I'm just going to do real quick is um, this dot cre dot set creative tab creative tabs dot and creative tab not creative tabs dot and tab lock. Um, this code is just to set the creative mode tab that the block goes in. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on that, uh, go check it out. It's like two minutes long, so it shouldn't be too difficult to watch. Um, okay, so that way I have the red furnace, and if we place it down, you'll see... Oh, I should fix that sound. Right now it's using the gravel sound, which you guys won't be able to hear. Um, but you'll see that it'll give us the top sides and front um, of our furnace. So in the next tutorial I'll talk to you guys about how to make the furnace block face us uh, when we place it down um, and then after that I'll just continue on with the furnace. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, check out my other videos um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!